Hello knitters and spinners. So today I'm going to teach you how to read a yarn label, teach you about different yarns, and teach you about different knitting needles. So let's get started. This yarn what I picked out is Dora Norville if you're just wondering. And the first thing what you want to look for on a yarn label is the yards. Because if you were going to knit a sweater or something that's really, really big, you want to make sure that there's enough yards, not too little. This yarn label says there's 109 yards, so that's pretty good because you can knit a sweater. No, not a sweater. You can knit a um, hat or you can knit um, a scarf. The other thing you want to look for is if it's machine washable or dryable. This one says it is machine washable and it's machine and it's um, dryable too. And when it says machine washable, you really want to read what it actually says because if it was going to say inside out, that's mean you really want it to be inside out because if it wasn't, it's probably going to ruin your yarn or your project. Um, you want to make sure um, what kind of weight is it. Because if it's really thin, and if you want to make like a scarf, that's fine. But if you want to make like a bulky scarf and really warm, there that's the problem. Because usually thin yarn says used to be for shawls or drape. This one says it's bulky. It's number five. That's how high it can go. Like number one, it's really thin. That's like lace weight. And then number two, it's like sock weight. And then it goes up to five. And five is bulky. That means it's really, really thick. Um, the other thing we want to look for is what size knitting needles and a crochet hook. But I don't crochet, so I'm going to talk about knitting needles. It says it uses a size 9 to 11 knitting needles, so that's pretty good. Um, how many stitches to the inch? That's also really important. It says 3.375 3 stitches to the inch, so that's pretty good. Um, the other thing I want to look for is what kind of color it is, if you were just wondering. And... Um, that's all for the yarn label. So, now what it looks like. Now I'm going to teach you um, different kinds of knitting needles. These are circular needles because it's attached by a cord. And these are to make hats. So that's really useful because it makes a long tube. Or if you have like a really long project with tons of stitches, that's also good. Um, these are wooden needles because they're made out of wood and sometimes they call them bamboo. And these are really nice if you're a beginner at knitting because they don't, because your stitches don't slide off the needle. So these are really, really good. These are metal needles. And you can see that they're kind of slippery, but they're all right if you're a new beginner. But I recommend the bamboo if you're a new beginner. Um, these are double pointed needles because they look like this. Just hold on. They look like this because they have two points at one end, at both ends, I mean. And they're really good for socks. Or if you're coming like a baby hat and you want to do like the old fashioned way, that's what they call it. But that's what the double point needles look like. And these are also bamboo. Okay, that's all for the knitting needles. Now I'm going to talk about the yarn. Okay, you can see that this yarn is bulky because it's very thick 
and it's really heavy looking. Um, this one is sock weight or even called lace weight. I do not recommend this if you are a new beginner because it's really, really thin. It's really, really hard to work with. This is another bulky yarn, as you can see, and this is a felting yarn because it's made up from 100% wool. And also when you're uh, look, looking at your yarn label, you want to see um, was made out of like 100% wool, 100% acrylic, or 100% alpaca. This is a sport weight or even a worsted weight. So that I really recommend sport weight or worse weight if you're a new beginner. I really do not recommend this if you're a new beginner because you can see it has like these little pom poms in between the yarn. Um, this is good for like really bulky scarves like this yarn is for. Um, it's really good for like an advanced beginner or even an intermediate as well. Um, this is another sport weight or worsted weight. And this is another um, felting yarn as well. Okay, that's all for today. Bye!